Welcome back to Wristwatch Deep Dive. Today I'll be talking about my Rado Captain Cook. I'm not a dealer or a flipper. I'm not selling the watches they covered, just highlighting watches I have in my collection. All right, so this is, and so I, I bought this retail and I'm super bummed because when I was pulling the box out of, the, out of my closet, I accidentally tore the, the sleeve portion of this box. Kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Things happen. All right, so this is the Rado Captain Cook. Uh, reference number for this watch is R32149318. And I'm kind of buttoning everything up here. I'm just going to put that off camera. So here's the watch. Now this is a, uh, a limited edition one. <clears throat> it's limited to 823 pieces. Uh, it's a collaboration with British tennis star Cameron Norrie. Uh, the reason why there, there's 823 pieces is because Norrie's birthday is on uh, August 23rd. And you can see uh, there's a signature. We'll talk about that in a second, but his signature is on the, uh, is on the, the, the sapphire for the display case back. It's like a smoked screen. I mean, you can see the movement, but it's not like a clear screen. All right, we'll talk about the watch. 42 millimeter stainless steel case, 12.5 millimeters thick. Uh, it's on a stainless steel bracelet with semi butterfly deployment clasp. So what that means is one side is a friction. So they just, it's a kind of just a click. And the other side is a push button release. I'm not the biggest fan of these. Um, I'd prefer both sides to be the push button release instead of this friction. It's not hard to use. It's just, you know that that's gonna wear out over time. So I, I, it's just dumb. I, I just wish that it had the dual butterfly clasp. Um, so this did come, and we'll, we'll talk about that now. This did come with multiple straps. And here's just like a, it had a separate strap box and I have papers and the receipt and stuff in here. I actually got this watch in Switzerland, which is cool. And it was at a uh, Rado boot boutique. So, so here are the two, this is, came with a NATO, a green NATO strap and this uh, black rubber strap. So pretty nice. I like that it, it does that. And I have to say that when you buy retail, one of the perks, it's, it stinks to pay extra for retail, but one of the perks when you do buy retail is that you tend to get a lot of extra like swag. So um, in fact, at the Rado Boutique, I, they gave me like a water bottle, a high-end chamois, all kinds of you know cool things. And this here, are extra pins for the straps, yeah. And there's those quick release pins with the spring, the spring mechanism on each side. So, pretty cool, they have all this extra, kind of just the extras that go above and beyond. And I like that, I appreciate that. Rado's not um, that well known in the States. In Switzerland, they had boutiques everywhere, but I wouldn't say they're more popular than other brands, but definitely more prevalent than the footprint you see here. All right, so uh, the movement's an ETA Powermatic 80. It's an 80 hour power reserve. Dome, sapphire, crystal. And it's not that prominent of a dome compared to some, but there, yeah, there is a dome feature to it. Unidirectional, downward sloping dive bezel. Uh, screw down crown with quick set date and hacking seconds. Date complication window is at the three o'clock here. It's in red and winding the watch now and pull it out one position. And up, oh, that's two positions. I'm setting the time. It's always just got to make sure you find just the tiniest click there so you can see I'm setting the date and if I pull it out the seconds hand stops that's what hacking seconds is all right screw that back down uh, this watch has green loom on the dial and bezel 
Uh, green dial with tennis ball green on indexes at 12, 3, 6, and 9, as well as on the second hand. Uh, and that purple, that purple uh, Rado anchor in the background, that actually moves. It's a cool detail that it's purple, but it moves. Let me see if I can get it to move. This is actually, a, see how it, it doesn't move super freely, but if I kind of shake it, see how it's it's the anchor spinning around. So this is um this is something unique to Rado. The, they have that anchor on the dial of their watches, and that anchor will spin around. It, it has nothing to do with the movement. It's just a feature, like hey, that my our anchor spins freely spins in there. Uh, display case back allows you to see the movement. The Sapphire crystal has uh, Cameron Nori's signature on it. We already spoke talked uh, highlighted that. You can see the signature as I move it in the light there. Uh, I acquired this watch retail at a Rado shop in Lucerne, Switzerland. All right, brand information. Rado is a luxury Swiss watch company founded in 1917. The company was originally named Schlup & Company, founded by brothers Fritz, Ernst, and Werner Schlup. Uh, they changed the name to Rado in 1957 with the introduction of the Rado horse. Rado means wheel in Esper, Esperanto. So Esperanto is the world's most widely spoken constructed international language. Uh, I could make an entire history video on just this language. It's pretty interesting, uh, but I don't really make language videos and make watch videos. But the, that language is actually kind of basically a made up language in, in order to like kind of create a universal language for everybody. Um, there are quite a few speakers of it, so it's pretty interesting history of that language. Uh, the Rado Captain Cook, this model, dive watch, was debuted in 1962 and was named after Captain James Cook, the 18th century British explorer. All automatic Rado watches have a moving Rado anchor on the dial, and we already spoke about that, that little purple anchor. Uh, Schlup became part of the Sagatur Group in 1966, along with other companies to include Invicta. The success of the Diastar model helped the company through the consolidation of the 1970s, and they joined ASUAG in 1971. By 1974, Rado was one of the top Swiss brands in terms of revenue. There's a wrist shot there. Uh, so as I've covered many times before, ASUAG eventually merged to become SMH, which later become the Swatch Group. So Cameron Nore is a tennis star that uh, started collaborating with the brand in 2021. Uh, this model was released in 2023. So Rado, the cap, there is a Captain Cook model that has a green dial. It's pretty nice green. It's a, it's, it's a solid color green, but um, it's very vibrant. I like that. I like that watch. This one stood out for me because I, I just love that fade, that fade from the darker green into the the lighter. It's really unique, very cool. It's like eye-catching. You know, I do get compliments on this watch because it's just, it's very interesting. And I like the the contrasting colors with the purple and the the, the tennis ball yellow. Uh, so I picked this watch. Why I picked it? I picked this watch because I really like the color. I thought it was unique and very different from the other watches I owned. Uh, to be honest, I really don't care about tennis or, or Cameron Nori. And I'm, I'm not a hater of him or anything, but it's... It's not why I picked this watch. Um, yeah, I just kind of picked it because I really thought it was a beautiful watch. And uh, and I'm a, I am a sucker for limited editions, even though this is a collab limited edition. Um, I still do like that, that part of it. All right, so now for a loom shot. Go ahead and hit the lights, charge the loom. All right, here she is. So this is an above average loom. Uh, the indexes are very prominent, very bright. The hands are very bright. It's very easy to see. The second hand, you can see it sweeping. Um, even I like that the dial is, is loomed as well. I mean, with the numbers, very prominent, definitely above average. I'm not the biggest fan of green loom, but you know, I like the blue loom better. But uh, that's just my personal preference. As far as like 
you know, how easy it is to read this and see what time it is, it's, it's very easy. So well done, Rado. You guys did a good job. All right, so I'll hit the lights again. All right, uh, we'll talk about the box. We kind of did that in reverse. So I already showed you the strap, the extra strap box they gave me with like a travel case. That's pretty cool. Um, the, the normal box, box type box is here. Uh, here's the pillow. And if I pull this out, it's similar to the Omega box. This is like a travel case that you can have. So a box inside a box inside a box, pretty cool. Um, yeah, Omega has a similar feature to this for their wood boxes. Uh, I'll show you that when I go over my Speedmaster. Um, under here, the cards, a little leather pouch with the cards and my extra links. So, I mean, it's pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. Yeah, this is like one of the nice things about buying retail is that you never have to worry about any of that stuff. You know, it's just kind of like, okay, yeah, you know that it's gonna come with extra, not even just the minimum. All right, so that's the Rado Captain Cook. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment on the video or shoot me an email, wristwatchdeepdive at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next watch.